Hey guys, welcome back to another LJ Tech Tips video. Today we'll be looking at my Dell Latitude 5310 um, that I bought on eBay and this will be my new daily. Now the reason why I bought this laptop is because my HP Pro Books touchscreen suddenly failed. Yes, the HP did have a better screen than this. This is an LCD. The um, uh, HP was a um, OLED with a variable refresh rate. So that there are a couple downsides, but we'll get to that later in the video. It's a 10th gen i5 um, with 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Now this machine I originally bought for bought with an eight gig single channel, eight gigs of RAM, and a two fifty six SSD, and I bought this machine for a hun no two hundred and twenty eight dollars Australian. Um, it's a tenth gen i five, and it does score relatively well. This is in Cinebench. It overall with regarding its performance. Um, you can see, um, it's all right. Uh, those are its points. The test was run whilst I was on charge, not charging through the barrel jack, just by standard type C with a 45 watt charger. So, um, it's, it's an all right machine. To me, the speakers are a bit tinny, but we'll get to that later. Um, but for me, the main thing is touchscreen works and it's more upgradable than the Pro Book because my HP Pro Book did not have upgradable RAM. Um, this has upgradable RAM and storage, the Pro Book just had upgradable storage, so there are some advantages there. So, uh, let's go to Task Manager, we'll get to the specs now. Just another review of the specs. All right, so this is what we're rocking. Where we've got a Hynux one terabyte. We've got our 16 gigs of upgradable DDR4 and our i5 10th generation. Um, integrated graphics, so it, it's all right. Um, overall, it's a little bit more of a better machine than my Pro book but there are a few things which I dislike about it mainly being speakers and also not having an OLED there's also a third which is regarding its build quality if we look at the build quality I'm gonna press here for reference can you see that the keyboard is syncing just a little bit when I press on it the Unlike having a full aluminium body uh, or aluminium, if you're American, um, there is a bit of body flex, but that's normal for a more plastic laptop. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages with having a plastic laptop um, rather than an aluminium. Um, this Dell also has a much wider range of ports. So on this side we have micro SD um, headphone jack and USB. And on this side we have our, well, I have my um, Type-C standard barrel jack, HDMI and USB. So there's a little bit more ports compared to my HP, which only had one USB port and two Type-C's. So. Yeah, there's advantages in both laptops. I just think this is, I bought it because I needed it and because my touchscreen stopped working. So um, there are always advantages and disadvantages with going from newer hardware to older hardware and all that. This does prove to be able to last longer because of it's upgradable in hardware compared to HP when Microsoft does eventually decide to kill support for um, and the eighth generations of CPUs so 
um currently in windows 11 they're supported windows 10 does end support soon so just a little reminder unless you're on um the long life um support or i've forgotten that's short the name all right so let's go to and do some speaker checks so we will go to here all right let's go to youtube Alrighty, let's go to our channel. That's us. Alrighty, let's take a look at um, this video here. Just an ad. Google will guide so you through. I have to mute that, skip that. There are ad blockers available. But yeah. Today we'll be reviewing my late 2009 MacBook with an open core legacy patcher, uh, Mac OS and Coya. Um, as you can kind of hear, the speakers are a little bit more tinny, uh, especially if you start listening to music on this, the speakers are rather um, tinny. Um, it does have a nice camera lens um, hider, so you just slide it across, you got your camera and then you slide it back and no camera. So I do think that's a good like security feature because you never know when stuff is spying on you nowadays. Only way to do that is completely switch to Linux and I've got certain pieces of hardware and software which I need to use Windows for. So Linux is a great option if you're just browsing the web or into some developments and that type of stuff developmenting stuff or just want to move away from these big corporate um but uh corporate associations and um, companies just for what i need i just need something that can run in schools and has upgradable parts because i always like to tinker with hardware so overall this is a re really good laptop for what i paid for it i think if you can find a similar model, newer or older, for a similar price mark, I think it's a good laptop um, for you to take a look at. Um, there are obviously always the newer laptops out there. You've just got to be careful because certain stuff are prone to fail on some of the newer laptops like hinges and that type of stuff. There's a whole range of um laptops that have all sorts of problems and having a laptop that has repairable parts means you can always like upgrade something or change something out if it fails instead of having to buy a whole new laptop but it like anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a good rest of your day thank you